Breaking news. James Harden, cons uh, convicted of murder. Could you imagine? Enclosed the walls with, uh, filled with stone, the floor uneven, and uh, also made of stone. A cold musk rolling through the narrow hallway. Round metal bars hanging from ceiling, connecting the top and the bottom of the room. Walking down the narrow the hallway, hearing the clank of the cold pieces of metal constricting your wrists. A large man walking behind you, me in a uniform. Weapons on him to control any situation that could possibly occur. Turn left, the deep voice called. I obeyed, not being able to do anything else. Feeling a push from behind as I fell against the cold stone floor, not being able to uh, break my fall. The air rushed out of my lungs, the, the lights so dim that you can barely see the faces of the guards. This is a good possibility of how James Harden felt when he was imprisoned. James Harden was an NBA basketball player. His whole career depends on what people think of him. He needs people to like him. He was convicted of murder. His whole basketball uh, career was put on the line for a simple wrongful, wrongful conviction. Could you imagine having your career put on the line for a simple mistake of DNA testing that you happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time even though you didn't actually commit the murder? He could have easily been fired by his coach for even being convicted of the crime. It just so turns out when our job relies on people liking you, uh, you get convicted of a crime and something bad could really happen to you. Uh, James, James's DNA was found at the crime scene, but it turns out that he just happened to be there, again, at the wrong place at the wrong time. Just like everybody in the, at one point or another, James's career was put on the line because of human errors. People are wrongfully convicted so much that it just so happens uh, that it happens all the time. It's hard to believe, really. It just happens that the most wrongful convictions are test, are DNA tests and human error. Both could use a couple of solutions to prevent the amount of wrongful convictions that happen. Too many people are wrongfully convicted. It happens so much that more than, or happens much more than what people realize. Human error and DNA testing can cause people to be wrongfully convicted. We, we should force a larger amount of evidence to convict somebody of a crime, preventing it to prevent this from happening again.